Mario. Alright, hello, it is. <laughs> I just tried to re-record this, but ended in absolute failure. We're going to the third floor, beta. Beta third floor. Get that in your mind. Beta third floor. It can be accessible from either lobby A or E. And going ahead and saying this, I'm probably not going to cover Beta Lobby B or the Uncanny court Courtyard for a while, because both of them have things in them that require 120 stars. So I'm just going to be putting them off until I get 120 stars. Out of 460 stars, so that's not like, it's going to be a bit, but it's not going to be that long. Oh, what the hell? Damn. Uh, yeah, the flowers are placed randomly. Sometimes the flowers are like directly on top of the pipe, and I think it's silly when they are. They, they're not on the pipe this time. Aww. But yeah, pipe in the star takes us to the third floor, beta. Get that in your head, beta. Anyway, it's kind of a big area, but most of the stuff connected to it is pretty small, so like, it's really not that big. And we're gonna start off with athletic. Athletic? Just athletic. Blah, blah, whatever words. So, I have a funny story about this level actually. Around here. You. This Goomba right here that is now dead. First time I played this. I was with a friend, like kind of in person, and we saw that Goomba and we we're like, oh my god, oh, this, is, this is cute, and wanted to, we wanted to get a picture of it, but by the time we decided to get a picture, we had already killed it, it was too late. So we left the level, came back, and it was just a regular Goomba, and we were like, Just kind of that. It was. It was sad. It was a tragedy. Um, this is before I really knew how personalization values worked, and it was in an earlier build of the game as well. I think it was 0 0.9. But yeah. Anyway, um, here's something funny. So, if you come from this ramp from this side, you might go up to and go like. I can get up? No, I can't! Oh, so how do I get up? Wait a minute. Oh, hey, a cannon there! Okay, I can just jump down here and use a cannon. Evil trick. Absolutely evil trick. So, we're just gonna move on for now. <laughs> I, oh yeah, and also, I should probably talk about, you know, the origins. This level is a real beta level that was found in the files of Mario 64, like in the leak, I believe. It was called Course 2, I think? Or literally, as like both Course 2 and literally Athletic. There's another course in the, the same little fucking group of levels that's also a real course, but its name was not kept. Anyway, we just did a full loop around, so like, where the hell is the star? Pretending you didn't just see it there from the draw distance. Yeah, I just sit here. Neat! And that's athletic. Now, heading this way, we've got... Castle 1. This is the other one that's like an actual, real level. Um... Athletic, I think it's basically consider considered Castle 2. But like... Mm, that's a water round. I don't think you can swim in it, though. I haven't tried, but I I wouldn't... And you know what, I have, it's an emulator, I, I can risk it. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> cool. But, yeah. This is another real beta level. K 
can't really... It's not that much we can really do. So... Let's head this way. Which... We are met with... For one moment. Apologies, my roommate came in. That is not much of a problem. Anyway, um... So, yeah, it's just kind of like... Kind of an aimless feeling level. Which, even though it's real level. I mean, it's more just a test room than anything. So it kind of makes sense why it has this vibe. Um... Yeah, <laughs> that part of the middle kind of threw off my whole rhythm, but meh. Here, it seems like we are making some progress now with a little switch that spawns some boxes. This is probably the first. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's a really forgiving time limit. <laughs> the time limit I'm thinking of is in a later courses video. Anyway, with that, we have our. Nothing. We don't have anything. Yep, it's a fake star. And the level is suddenly like a lot bigger. We're not. We're not gonna go to most of this. I mean, we could, but like, yeah, look at this shit. Just like a bunch of nothing. So. What we actually want to do... Head down here. This is the new area you're actually going to want to go to. And if we head back here, we'll see our star. And this time, it's real. Awesome. Yeah. Now, moving on. Most of the other stuff in this area is just kind of original creation. It's not based on much other like textures from beta levels like those two we just did. But, let's get this pipe out of the way. This pipe takes us to the fourth floor beta. It's, ba it's basically like the third floor, but more. We're gonna wait for it, though. We're gonna have that its own video, because this one already had, like, a lot to cover. So, let's start off with the left door. Which takes us to... Minion Base. Test level, codename enemy test. Oh boy. Also, lots of coins, so good for, you know, grinding lives, since, like, there's a lot of coins just kind of scattered about like that, and the star isn't really, well, one, the star isn't that hard to get. We won't bother looking around right now, because this level has two stars. One of those is a silver star thing. We'll save our exploring for that one. But right now, our moon star is up here. Now, let's head back and get our other star. Oh yeah, this, this might be the first time we were actually seeing a Koopa in this. No Silver Star here. Oh yeah, while I was practicing this, I managed to get 
every single silver star while riding this Koopa shell. That's what I did not think would be possible. I was about to say, let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I believe I- yeah, I already talked about these bomb mobs in the Bowser submarine video. Silver Star 3 here. And then we already know where the other two are. One's right here. And finally here. All we need is a simple jump. No, oh, I can almost land on it. And that is minion base. Moving on, we get to the aptly named. Test level. Test level codename platform test. Oh, well, certainly is. Also, man, listen to this banger. Say what you will, but B33 has quite the soundtrack. I, I, I don't even have much to say, because just listen to this. Oh my god, okay. But, um, I can, I can do it. Actually, why is this kind of... Coins. I had to make sure, because it could have, you know, death inside. I believe all the blocks have coins in them. Oh boy. Oh yeah, Goomba Stack. Ah oh, shit. Fuck. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, Go Goomba sacks are dangerous if you are prepared. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh well. Please be regular point. Nope, it ain't. Oh well. Anyway. This. This is what I was talking about back in Castle 1. This is probably the first, um, box timer that, you know, is actually a little difficult, I'd say, as I get back and it just keeps on digging. Oh, might as well. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'd say it's probably best to ignore Goomba stacks unless they're like in the way of something. But they can always they can always be fun to fight. They're just kind of easy to die against. Mostly because of the timing with the brown pound. You don't have that little bit of grace period of invincibility in the air. So like if you press it too soon, you're just gonna slam in front of them and get hit. And once you're at the point where progressive healing is disabled, that's an issue. Anyway, here is a level. Tall Floating Fortress. This castle is exclusive to the show. It's connected to a variety of worlds, so open the doors ahead and get adventuring. Okay, that's 
Okay, this is, well, it is, it is a level my description is accurate, but I thought it was, <laughs> I got mixed up with the next one. Test level, codename course test. We actually have an origin to talk about after this one. Probably the only other level in this course that has an actual origin. But, we also have two stars again. If you have a keen eye, you might have noticed red coins scattered about. Oh boy, we have to collect those. We do. It's not that bad though. But just get into the top. Yeah. This tower does not have a little secret alcove like the other towers have. I checked. Unless it just unless it does and it's just somewhere else, that's always possible. Not that I, not that I would actually know. I mean, typically I would know, but the fact that I don't know makes me think it just doesn't have anything. Star. This star used to take you to a separate level dedicated to just hosting several stars on it. It doesn't do that anymore, though. That level does still ex the level it took you to still exists in a capacity, but it doesn't work the same anymore. Oh, um, I'm thinking like once we get like once we beat the game, I'm thinking like going back and like covering previously unused and removed levels. I think that'd be a fun low time. Is there anything actually this way I forget? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Yeah. I, I'll have to collect the other stars with the red coins and come back there. And this one. And this one. I, I could go up here. Yeah, here we are. Red coin here. Hell yeah. Almost got them all. And our last one right up here. Yeah, not really that bad at all. <laughs> Until I break my legs just trying to climb down. And I break my stomach just trying to belly flop down because I can't use my legs anymore. Oh, I'm so weak, but I'm almost there. I'm gonna make it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's get into the origin before we move on. It's this video. This is a video by Greenio. Environment showcase has like a bunch of rant. Has like a bunch of random little environments in it. But our specific environment is this one. Wait for the cut. Please. Please cut. There we go. <laughs> Wonderful sir. not one-to-one, -one, but it's like effectively just this. Boing. Yeah, I, there's, no, there's not much need to put this in its entirety. So, I'm gonna copy this link. I'm gonna take my little thing where I put my little help document where I write the description of the video in advance and just go watch this video by by Annie Log who mysteriously changed their name back to Greenio out of nowhere like yesterday at of recording this but like a week or two by the time it uploads. Boop. Awesome. I should, I should put this back over here. I'm, I mostly just put this here so, you know, 
I have the names of everything easily accessible so I don't forget it. So, I can go in here and I can confidently say, This is a wing cap on a rainbow highway. Two stars. Instantly just go this way. We'll worry about the red coins later. people like I, I would recommend that you don't do this however I'm not recommend yeah <laughs> be right back. okay we're we're back to where I should not have done the thing I did and we're just gonna do it the normal safe platforming way. Once again, I, I did it while I was recording. I um I fell down there and I got off the shell then. So you know, <laughs> I, I did it in a different way. But anyway, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna see. Hey, a wing cap, wing cap switch. We've been waiting for this. You just stepped on the wing cap switch. Hell yeah. So with that, <laughs> the next video, we're going to be going back to the castle grounds. But you may remember me saying that even though shooting yourself out of, out of a cannon results in you flying, you still want the wing cap. Why is that? Well, let's go up here. Up here. It, it's a star. That's, that's about it. However, shooting yourself out of the cannon results in you flying like a wing cap. Stay at the same altitude, you can't really do much beyond that. However, with the wing cap in the game, you are no longer, you are not limited by height. You can fly up as long as you want, as long as you still have time on your wing cap. Like, time is... It is the only concern. So, trust me. You want that wing cap. Now for the red coins, along with some trivia for anyone playing, you know, like, any version before this version. So... If we jump over here... Jumping over here, we will actually find out... Nothing! There's nothing to find out. Why am I making a deal out of this? In previous version, Mips the rabbit was actually in this spot. He was just kind of there. He'd give you, he'd give you a star and he'd give you another star later. We're at a point where we could grab this first star, and in fact, actually, if we were to grab that star and the red coin star, we would get be able to get a second star, but, you know, the thing about it is, there are like four different MIPS locations in this game, and MIPS, MIPS doesn't really take that kindly to existing in more than one place. So it ended up leading to a thing where, like, if you got MIPS in one location, like, even though all MIPS had unique stars, if you got MIPS in a one in one location, then you'd be locked off from a star in another location, even though it's a unique star, essentially making it unobtainable. And, like, there was a specific way you could get all the stars in, like, make it so you could get all eight of the MIPS stars, but... 
the, having a having a way to just lock yourself out of Star was not fun. So like about like 1.0.1, they decided to just fix it, and now I think there's only one actual MIPS location. And I do clarify one actual MIPS location, because he technically still exists in more than one place, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Moving on. Cubic Greens, right here. Test name, code name, platform. Test level, code name, platform test. Another one. Well, these platforms sure do test, so I'm not complaining. Now, I would I'd recommend a triple jump here, but if you're feeling a little suicidal, you could do that. That perfectly suffices. It's just a bit more dangerous than a triple jump would be. And that's it for Cubic Greens! Now... Maybe going... Wait, so that's everything, right? Wrong! Unless you're one of the people going like, wait, wait didn't you miss something like that at the beginning? In which case... Correct! But we're covering something else before that. So, going back to the cubic greens area, this is a mirror that does not mirror us. So that means this isn't a mirror, this is just glass. Well, we went to Silent Hall. We got the Vanish Cap, and if we head over here, we can find a little vanish cap hidden here. So, just grabbing it and running back. Leaves us being able to go right on through. And now, we can go into Castle 3, which, despite being in the same, despite being similar to Castle 1 and Athletic, is not a real test level. It does use textures from real test levels, though. Test level, codename, moveset test. Good to know. <laughs> Once again, I assume it's not safe to swim. Can I jump in this time? I can. Oh, it is safe to swim. Cool. Alright, cool. Well, lesson learned. You, you, you can trust any random floating body of water. Jump in with no hesitation. In fact, my hesitation should have led to the water killing me instantly out of spider, but it decided, nah, I'm gonna be nice today. And I could be great, more grateful. <laughs> Get out. Up. Little hidden bit here. Very kind of hard to see. But I do. Oops. <laughs> Made it. Now. So a little bit farther. Oop. And we get brought to... There's only one thing left to show off. We've got- we've finished all the courses, we've got all the stars here, but 
There's one other warp I've neglected to show off until now. If you have 10 stars, which you do, that's how you're here, do not lie. But if you have 10 stars, then going into this specific place and looking up takes you to the personalization chamber. That's as far as we're gonna go. We're not gonna head into the personalization chamber. I hope that name enough is a, is not, that I know, that I hope that name alone is enough to entice you. If you wanna either go there yourself or maybe maybe look at the video where I cover it in the description, assuming it's been uploaded yet. Wink wink, nudge nudge. If it's if it's not up yet and by the time you're watching this, then um I guess let's go here yourself. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's it for the third floor. Beta. Beta floor. Do not forget it. Beta. Do not get it. Forget it. Beta floor of the third. Goodbye.